Hey everyone, I'm June, a researcher with The Expert. The United States' approval of Bitcoin ETF is making cryptocurrency more mainstream, and other countries are catching up. With Hong Kong recently greenlighting Bitcoin and Ether ETF, and the London Stock Exchange planning to accept applications for Bitcoin and Ether ETNs starting in the second quarter of this year. This development is important because, as I previously mentioned in a March video, Regulatory frameworks play a major role in shaping crypto markets. The US bought Bitcoin ETF will reach its 90-day milestone around mid-April, aligning with Bitcoin's halving event, which lowers the supply of new cryptocurrency. The halving is expected on April 20 and could push Bitcoin prices higher due to the decreased supply and ongoing demand. There are now only 500,000 Bitcoin left to mine, which contributes to the potential for higher prices. After nearly three months in the market, US bought Bitcoin ETF continued to hit record daily trading volume, handling 3 to 10 billion each day and accumulating about 12.1 billion in net flows since launch. They are poised for further growth in trading volume and inflows as issuers have not yet begun to actively promote their products through advisory channels. Now, why is the ETF approval so important to the markets? Looking back at the launch of the first Gold ETF in 2004 can teach Bitcoin investors valuable lessons. While history doesn't exactly repeat itself, there are similarities worth noting. The introduction of the first Gold ETF demonstrated how ETF can make an asset more accessible to the public. Within three days of its launch, the first Gold ETF gathered over 1.13 billion in assets, setting a record that stood for 18 years. This coincided with a significant increase in gold prices, leading to a prolonged period of price growth. It took about four years for gold prices to double after the ETF introduction. The record was only broken by ProShares Bitcoin Futures ETF in 2021 by attracting $1.2 billion in investments within just three days. Just recently, investors have shown strong interest in the nine new US spot Bitcoin ETF. These funds collectively received $1.9 billion in investment during the first three days of trading. This passes even the initial investment flows into the ProShares Bitcoin Futures ETF that I've mentioned just now. These new records made possible only by Bitcoin could lead investors to anticipate performance levels that were previously unimaginable. Asia-specific region's Bitcoin ETF currently manages about $250 million in assets distributed across three funds in Hong Kong and two in Australia. In Hong Kong, the largest Bitcoin fund is CSOP's Bitcoin Futures ETF with the ticker 3066HK was launched in late 2022 and manages about 121 million in assets. Bossera Asset Management, Harvest International, and China AMC are set to be the first ETF issuers to launch both Spot Bitcoin and Spot Ether products. Bossera currently manages six ETF with $400 million in asset. China AMC has 15 ETF with $3.6 billion in assets, and Harvest manages three ETF with $10 million in assets. Overall, Hong Kong ETF market boasts $51 billion in assets under management. Hong Kong aims to solidify its position as Asia's Pacific crypto hub by launching the first spot Bitcoin ETF with in-kind creation set to commence trading soon. This move is anticipated to stimulate increased flows and asset under management in response to the worldwide surge in Bitcoin popularities. Hong Kong's approach of using in-kind creation for the ETF where Bitcoin is deposited and ETF is issued contrasts with US cash-based transaction where cash is deposited and Bitcoin ETF is issued. This strategy could offer a unique opportunity, making it an attractive destination for investors holding Bitcoin and Ether. Achieving $100 million in AUM for each spot Bitcoin and Ether ETF in Hong Kong would be a significant milestone. While the US recently approved spot Bitcoin ETF, other countries have been ahead of the curve. Canadian fund group Purpose Investment launched the world's first spot Bitcoin ETF back by physically setting Bitcoin on the Toronto Stock Exchange in February 2021. 
the recent victory of the Bitcoin-friendly opposition party in South Korea, April's election increases the chances of the country approving spot Bitcoin ETF in the near future. Meanwhile, Japan's government pension investment fund, or GPIF, announced last month that it was considering investing in illiquid assets such as Bitcoin. Analysts expect that Japan and South Korea could approve spot Bitcoin ETF within the next 6 to 12 months. Although predicting the exact timelines can be challenging, these countries are aiming to catch up with regulatory progress. The UK Financial Conduct Authority or FCA has also approved the launch of UK-listed crypto ETNs, currently allowing access to these products only for professional investors. This cautious approach by regulators may lead to broader retail access once the impact of these products on a more informed participant base is assessed. In the US, when Act launched a Bitcoin ETN four years ago suggesting that ETNs might eventually pave the way for ETF adoption. Australia's market is evolving too, with Global X21 shares, Bitcoin ETF already listed, other spot Bitcoin ETF might become available in the near future. As Bitcoin and Ether becomes increasingly embedded in the financial market, it is important to consider the regulatory acceptance surrounding this asset. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have gained insights from today's video. Everything I've shared are information that I've picked up and learned, sprinkled with a bit of my own takes on things. When it comes to trading or investing, do your own due diligence and be mindful of the risk. If you find this video helpful for your research, please subscribe, share and like it. Quickly access to all our channels by scanning the QR code. Take care and I'll see you in the next episode.